Hey there, guess what time it is? Let's investigate the wall. People have been reaching out in the comment section and asking, hey guys, what is in the wall, but more so in the drawers that you have labeled behind you. So let's investigate. <laughs> all right, Sedge, what are we talking about today? Okay, so when you look at the Sedge Tool channel on YouTube and you read all these comments, people are asking, what's in the cis wall? Okay. So, I'm gonna start with something I say every day. What's your time worth? Okay, and on the Sedge Tool channel, we have several videos on how to get organized, but people actually wanna know what's in the drawer systems I have here and how do I organize them? And this video, will go through it. Sounds good. As Benjamin Franklin once said, lost time is never found. I hate wasting time. Don't you? <laughs> I sure do. Okay, so uh, on the channel, we've done several videos on how to get organized. Some of that's going to, what we're going to talk about is a little bit of an overlap. But a lot of people have been reaching out saying, whether on um, a podcast night or whatever, what is actually in these drawers and how do you get organized in all of this, in the, uh, what I call the cis wall. Okay, so that's what we'll talk about today. So in the Festool system of drawers, they're called sortainers, short for sorting containers. And there's several ways to do it. I take it to a little bit different level. Um, I'll show you. In my hand tool chest here, you'll see, and I started way back when, many, many moons ago, I started doing French fitting. And I cut this out with a scroll saw. You can see the, the entrance mark here. But I've inserted Kaizam foam in there. And what I did, I started setting this up to get organized. But more so, if I'm missing this, I know exactly what it is because of the uh, cutout. This always reminds me when I go through this and start looking at my dad's shop growing up. He had pegboard and he had everything outlined, you know, the hammer, the square and everything. And it was kind of funny because he would walk down on a Saturday morning and go, boys, where's my hammer? It was probably in a tree house or something. But as I go through this, you'll see it's also protecting the tools. I love Kaizen inserts, Kaizen foam. Uh, even my hand saws, they don't rattle around. It protects the set of the teeth on the saws. So that was a good starting point for me. You'll see uh, we did another video about my tool till. It's constantly evolving. I just got a new set of chisels that later today uh, uh, inlet into the Kaizen foam. These are going to be my new go-to chisels. They come out of the box. Wicked shop. Okay, and this is like the beginning of a, a shop tour because in 2024 we're going to do a full Sedge Tool shop tour, so stay tuned for that. So let's go over here and start looking inside. So the Sortainer system is a set of drawers, basically. And you have, this is one of my favorites, because this is how I get Wicked organized. This is a 12 drawer. There's a 4 drawer, 6 drawer, and 9 drawer, and 12 drawer. This is the older style. Recently, or a couple years ago, and this is my favorite now, you can see I have tons of them. This is the three drawer sortainer. And it basically comes like this, um, with a couple of inserts there for separation. And also available are small boxes. Let me grab one right here so you can see these small boxes. You can get them in different sets. There's an assortment set. The reason I'm telling you this is when you get one of these, you should get some of these because they fit right in here and nestle right in. All right, Sedge, so what's in here? Okay, uh, this one I've had for a very, very long time, and it's labeled, okay? And if you look at the wall, there's two ways of labeling. One, quick look, and what that is is this, I take the card and flip it over, I've cut pieces of white paper, and I label them, but it's a quick look, like, look, this is wood pots. And when we dive down or deeper into it, you'll see when we pull out, I actually label the boxes. Oh. Okay, that way there. And, it, and by the way, it's a work in progress because 
as I go through this, you know we took that huge router bit cabinet that, cabinet that was all uh, broken down and I took and created all that extra space and put them into these three drawer sorteners for all my pieces of parts. Like I said, I've had this one a long time and over the years people give you all kinds of bit tips, you mm -hmm. know, for Christmas and everything. So what I do is I left all my Torx bits, or well look at this. We'll, I'll pull this one out. These are Torx bits that I have, right? But these are 10s and 50s, very rarely used. I still have more room in here. I got a kit, but I can see it's Torx. But my real Torx are the one inch tips and I have them in here. Oh wow. Okay, but do I use all of these? No, uh, but I, I can easily look, label and go right in here and pick what I need. See, outside here, inside here, 15, oh. 20, 25. See, it saves me a ton of time now. When you get one of these um, sorteners, in there are these little pieces of plastic that go right in the front for labeling. People just usually get these and toss them out. But what I do is I get a, a labeler and I put it in there like that and now I know that's my Torx straw. So that's how I get organized in here. And if I know what my Vix bits are, they're right in here. Okay, hex and slot. And people can see, look, long, uh, double-ended. I never use these anymore, but I just have them. Um, all my bit holders are right there. Oh, wow. So it's a quick look, and they have these little dividers here so I could create smaller, larger compartments for everything. Um, and then all my long bits are in here that I need. Damn. So that's just one of the sort of That's how you get organized. So I'm not running around looking for things. I know that's my bits to go. Now the other thing I'm going to show you is really important <clears throat> is I have a bunch of these that I've collected or bought over time and when I'm going out to do an installer, um, do something upstairs, I'll go, oh yeah, I remember those were Torx and I'll put a variety of these in there. That's fine. So I have that and that goes into my, my toolbox that I'm taking upstairs or out to a friend's house to, you know, help them out. So I always have plenty of these in there too for bit tips. Another way to get organized. <laughs> All right, Sedge. So jig stuff? What's that? Okay, so as a great philosopher once said, if you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Any guesses? So crates. Bruce Lee. Oh, even better. Like water, baby. Okay, so <clears throat> jig stuff. If I'm building a jig, I have it there. This is cardstock. I label everything. I don't like to waste time. Now, I can look in here and I get a boatload of knobs. I get some Kips levers that we use for the dominoes and stuff like that, but I know where it is. And I'll just, the nice thing about this, and every one of these, I like, I can't see up here, but my Contoro glue is there, right? right? But if I pull this out, now we can look at it because these I can depress here. Chris, get in here so you can see this. See how I depress it? Mm -hmm. And it's just wicked easy to take it out, put it back in, and everything's nice and neat. I know that's where my threaded inserts are, my knockdown. Oh, okay. Okay, and there's sometimes, look, I know collets and T-nuts are in here, but I also have, and I've done this over time, I have all my Festool parts in here. Uh -oh. I'll take this out so you can see them. Right in here, all my collets for quick grab, and I can organize, organize, organize. I can never throw anything like that. That's a threaded T-nut. Mm -hmm. I got off an old MFT table. You know, all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. But I always have it there and it's quick. So those boxes are important. And I'll show you over here. Chris, come over here. This is one of my favorite drawers. It sounds funny. But remember earlier <coughs> this year, we converted everything to the Torx quick screws that I just, I love these things. Mm -hmm. So what I did is look, quick screws, quick reference. I know I'm constantly grabbing in here. Now I know these are my inch and a half for cabinetry, but I went to inch and a quarter. Now the way I label these, and it's tough sometimes because they get turned around, but I know these are inch and a half, but I also label it here as oh. well. Okay, and I could take these out and put them in my uh, installer's toolbox, and I'll show you that in a minute, but there you go. And that's all my quick screws that I have. I have all these other screws, decking screws and everything in here. My dominoes are in a sustainer. And that's the way I label. I have quick here, and then when I look in, I have them so it's, uh, if there's a bunch of pieces of parts in those boxes. That's awesome. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is one of my other favorite sorteners. It's the toolbox. What's nice about it, it's accordion. This is my grab and go. 
Okay, if I'm going to go out and install a cabinet, I, I come right over here, I grab some quick screws, what I'm gonna need, uh, probably need some three and a half, and look how it all just segues right in there. Um, cabinet hardware, I may need some of these out there, and also, or I could just pull it like this, and I know I'm gonna need an assortment of probably drawer screws, I'll just take that, some uh, five millimeter screws, and I'm ready to go. Awesome. So it's just a quick way of doing it. What I've also done is taken some off cuts from my um, Kaizen. I still got to inlet a few of these. That's a work in progress. This is very, very vital when you're installing. This is a U-Scribe jig set. It's absolutely phenomenal for doing all your uh, uh, scribes, okay, filler strips and everything Okay. on cabinetry. It's just a really neat set. And also I have the Kaizen that I've started to inlet with my Pika and my, my tapes and my uh, utility knife. Always one place for everything, everything in its place. Awesome. So I can't tell you how many times in a shop before I started to get really organized, all the time I wasted. You know, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that. Like nowadays, I just walk over here and where are you? It's right, takes two seconds. Oh, look, I need to know where my crown stapler is. All right, I need to know where my brad is. I need to know, hey, my Grex micro pinner and my uh, boss stitch micro pinner, all right there. And then corresponding over, I have all my 23 gauge pins, 18 gauge uh, pins, okay? Uh, my crown staples. I'm starting to label those. Those are some other old colored boxes that I've had from other things. Um, I mean, these I think is, are boss stitch uh, uh, boxes that I put in here. But I got my zip screws and I'm constantly, all my nails that I have, cut nails, whatever, finished nails, they're all right in here. So another nice thing about this system is because I have all the three drawer sortainers, I can mix and match, like match. Like I have this one, if I wanted to bring that over here and I'm working on something here, I can bring it right in there, okay? And I can just switch them all around, what makes it more convenient for me. So let's go back to my bench where my hand tools are. Okay. And one of the things is you, when you open a drawer, things get rattled. Mm -hmm. So we have them in boxes. The other thing I do is I use Kaizen inserts. Okay, we can come right over here. And this is my brad nailer. See how it doesn't shift? That's beautiful. It, it works, it just works, okay? And I just, it's really easy to cut them in and out. This is from Kaizen Inserts or Kaizen Source. Um, I used to just cut them out and stuff them in, but these are pre-cut for the three drawer sortainers. Oh, nice. And then I'm ready to go. I always suggest getting this cutout kit right from the beginning. But even simple things like this, I've had these two sets for a long time. I've cut those in, and that's just another way to make sure you get really organized. I always know that's right in here. I don't care if it's wasted space or not. It just, it works for me, and mm -hmm. I know where everything is. Now, the other type of sustainer, or it's a combi sortainer, is this one. This I haven't utilized yet. I, I got this a while back, but it's got a three. It's, it's got a one drawer on the bottom, and I can put a tool up top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if I have a lot of casters, I can put them up there. Something I don't access a lot. But what's nice about this is, yeah, I got a little step stool. But what's really nice is I get those two tabs I can take down, yep. and I can do it just like that. Awesome. Okay. So everything works for me and that's how I've started to organize this wall it's always a work in progress come over here Chris I'll show you this one uh, how many times do I need an S hook right that's where all my S hooks are and screw hooks and yes I've labeled so I can look okay screw hooks screw eyes bigger larger all my nuts and bolts right over the years I got my small nuts here and my big nuts over here and my bolts S hooks I need washers I'm slowly labeling everything bolts nuts everything 
I got right here. I even have some tea nuts here. Guess what? I have to put those over here probably where I have labeled tea nuts somewhere. So it's always, always, always a work in progress. But the more you get organized, and hopefully I gave you a shot of the sortainers to see what's in the drawers and part of my workbench, as you'll understand, the more you're organized, the more time is saved searching for things. I hate wasting time. And you know, what is your time worth? Just a quick review, whether it's a three drawer sortainer or a 12 drawer or four drawer, don't forget about these Kaizen inserts. They're wicked easy to operate and utilize. Get some drawers and get organized. So as we always say in the Sedge Tool Shop, be positive, stay sharp, wicked, wicked sharp. sharp.